Hello friends. Today I'm going to talk about how to calculate how to calculate IV fluids that's intravenous fluids in pediatric patients in pediatrics. This is a very important topic because clinically you should be very well with this concept how to calculate IV fluids and how to give IV fluids to the shock patients or mildly dehydrated or moderately dehydrated or severely dehydrated and the management of dehydration is really very important step in saving the life of a pediatric patient okay guys so this intravenous fluids you know we have so many types of intravenous fluids but here I'm going to talk about the important intravenous fluid used in pediatric patients anomacerin anomacerin can be 0.9% or half normal saline that's 0.45% okay guys remember in pediatric patients in peds we use most commonly in infants and the toddlers is 0.45% Okay guys, let's start. Remember, before calculating, if a patient is in shock, he needs intravenous fluids, then you have to give push. What's a push? Push is nothing but IV bolus 20 ml per kg is given IV bolus because in shock there is very low levels of fluids that's why we give a push it gives nearly if 10 kg baby is there 10 into 20 is gonna be 200 ml IV bolus soon right so this is a really very important now let's move on to the normal how to calculate IV fluids in a floor patients you know we have two types what is it maintenance okay and we have what is a deficit okay the maintenance fluids and the deficit fluids maintenance is a normal fluids required for a patient in his 24 hours of life and deficit is a what is deficient in his body due to dehydration so right, let's talk about this first and then we talk about the deficit. The maintenance fluid. We have a beautiful formula for that how to calculate. A child, a child of 1 to 10 kg, 1 to 10 kg, we calculate as the fluids, the maintenance fluid required for him is 100 ml per kg okay so suppose imagine a patient is 10 kg okay the maintenance fluid for that baby is 100 into 10 that's 1000 ml okay right if it's 8 kg it's gonna be 100 into 8 that's multiplied by 8 that's 800 ml so you have to give 800 ml per 24 hours okay per 24 hours so you have to administer the this maintenance fluid like 1000 ml in a 10 kg baby over 24 hours and similarly in a 8 kg baby you have to administer 800 ml for 24 hours okay so if you want to give instruction to a nurse then you have to divide that 800 or 
thousand what you call uh, ml divided by 24 hours so it's gonna give you per hour okay got it so just calculate just an example I'm talking here so let's move on if 1 to 10 kg it's gonna be 100 ml per kg per 24 hours if he is 11 to 20 kg then we're gonna give 50 ml per kg per 24 hours okay guys are you getting me good if the baby or the child is more than 21 kg okay what you have to do is we calculate 20 ml per kg per 24 hours right okay now let's start an example okay for example if a baby is 15 kg okay tell me the maintenance fluid required for him so first 10 for the first 10 what you give how much you give is a 10 into 100 it's gonna be 1000 ml okay for the next 5 kg for the next 5 kg you won't give 100 ml per kg you give 50 ml per kg because from 11 to 20 kgs onwards it's a 50 ml per kg right so it's going to be 5 into 50 ml right that's going to be 250 ml so now let's tell me if a 15 kg boy how much you should give it's the first 10,000 ml next 5 kg is going to be 5 to 50 is going to be 250 so total fluids as maintenance he should receive 1250 1250 ml over 24 hours right now let's take an, another example if the baby is 25 kg so for the first 10 it's a thousand ml okay for the next 11 to 20 kg you're gonna get 50 per ml 50 ml per kg so it's gonna be sorry it's a thousand okay so it's gonna be 50 into 10 is gonna be 500 ml right and for next 5 kg there's a 25 kg it's gonna be 20 ml right so 20 into 5 so it's gonna be total 1600 ml for 24 hours okay guys is clear right now let's move on to this is how the maintenance is calculated it is calculated over 24 hours and you have to divide it by each hour okay now deficit as you know deficit deficit is it depends on the percentage of dehydration in pediatrics to make it easy we divide into 5 percent dehydrated 10 percent dehydrated and 15 percent dehydrated depending on the sign and symptoms you know very well it depends on a heart rate okay it depends on a systolic blood pressure okay it depends on the urine output okay mucous membrane oral cavity sunken eyes okay then we have tears then the skin turgor okay and the skin perfusion so in a 5% dehydration if the, this is called as a mild dehydration less than 5 and the 10 is called as a moderate and the 20, 50 is called as severely dehydrated so in a 5% dehydration the heart rate will be normal the systolic blood, blood pressure will be normal the urine output will be low okay and the what you call mucous membrane will be slightly dry 
anterior frontal that's within one year of a boy, one year infant, it's going to be normal. Okay? Let's talk about the tears. Tears are present and skin turgor is normal almost and skin perfusion is less than two seconds. So this is a totally a different topic. I'm not going to go in detail. Just remember as we progress from 5 to 15 percent, the dehydration severity increases. Okay? Less. For example, and the other thing, let's clear the screen. Okay. So to calculate the deficit, we divide into the first half and the second half. First half and the second half, right? The first half is given in 8 hours. And the second half is given in 16 hours. Means, whatever deficit we're going to get in the patient, we're going to divide by 2, okay? And then we're going to give first half in 8 hours and second half in 16 hours. So now let's calculate. For example, okay? For example, I'm going to give you a 10 kg boy. A 10 kg boy has a 10% of dehydration. Okay? That's the question for you. Now let's take let's calculate the two things. One is the maintenance and one is the deficit. To calculate the maintenance, we know the first 10 kg is 100 ml per kg. So it's going to be 10 multiplied by 100 is going to be 1000 ml per 24 hours right excellent and they they have given 10% dehydration remember when they give the 5% 10% or 15% multiply it by 10 okay right like 10 multiplied by 10 is gonna be a percentage of dehydration and what's the weight of the baby is a 10 it's going to be 100 is nothing but 1000 ml. Okay, right? For 24 hours. So remember here, 10% dehydration is nothing but 10 multiplied by 10. Okay? And the 10 is the weight of the baby. This is the weight of the baby. Okay? So if you want to calculate, if it's a, the dehydration is 5%, this is a 5 into 10, that's going to be 50. Right? Into 10. Okay? If it's... Uh, 15% dehydration, then 15 into 10, 150, 150 multiplied by 10 is going to be 1,500. Keeps on changing, right? Okay. Now let's talk the total fluids, the total. The total fluids the patient should receive in 24 hours is 2,000 ml. Right? Got it, guys? Awesome. Now let's move on to the next. We have to divide the deficit, the deficit into two halves. The first half will give in eight hours, and the second half will give in sixteen hours. So in total, we have a thousand ml, right? Thousand ml. So we're gonna divide into five hundred ml. And 500 ml, right? The first one is 500 ml that should be given in eight hours, and this one should be given in eight hours. Okay. So to calculate, if it is divided by per hour, it will be around. Let me divide and tell you. So it's gonna be 500 divided by eight hours. It's gonna be. 62.5 62.5 ml per hour for 8 hours okay that's the deficit what about the maintenance maintenance we have to give maintenance 1000 ml 1000 ml per 24 hours so it's going to be 1 hour each will be 41.6 ml per hour for 8 hours right 
so it's going to be total is 104.1 ml per hour should be given to the patient right in the first eight hours excellent now let's talk about the second half in second half it's a 500 ml over sorry here I have to write 60 16 16 hours so it's gonna be 500 over 16 hours it's gonna be 31.2 ml per hour for 16 hours and that's a deficit right D and the maintenance will be same that's a 41.6 ml per hour per hour for 16 hours so it's gonna be 31.2 plus 41.6 is gonna be 72.8 ml per hour okay for next 16 hours so if you calculate overall it should at the end of the day that's within 24 hours it should come around 2000 ml okay should come around 2000 ml that's it guys this is how you should calculate and how you should administer the fluids okay so I think this video is really very helpful for you okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care